Hello everyone, welcome to Digiber channel. In this channel, we will bring you many great methods for fixing your unavailable iOS devices, including your iPhone and iPad. If you want to learn more, subscribe to us to receive up to the minute notifications. In today's video, we are going to teach you four ways to hard reset your iPad. It can be divided into two cases. The first is that you remember precisely the lock screen passcode and the other is that you've forgotten the passcode, which leads to the iPad getting an unavailable or security lockout problem. You can use different methods in different situations. Now, let's go on. Under the circumstance of knowing the passcode, you can erase the personal data of your iPad in the settings. Open it on your device. Head to the general page, swipe up to the bottom, and tap transfer or reset iPad right here. Then you will see two options at the bottom, tap erase all content and settings to proceed. On this page, you'll be asked if you continue to erase this iPad, tap continue button to confirm your choice. Next, you might be suggested to enter the lock screen passcode as well as your Apple ID password later. Once it's typed in, tap turn off on the top right corner. Wait a short while, you will get a pop-up window to let you make the last confirmation. If it's OK, tap Erase iPad to move forward. Now, you can see the Apple logo and loading bar shown on the black screen. All the data will be wiped out during the process. Once finished, the Hello screen will show up, which means your iPad is hard reset successfully. If you can't get access to your iPad since you lost the screen passcode, you can try the following three methods to reset your device. Method 1. Directly erase your iPad on the lock screen. Method 2. Reset your iPad via iPhone Unlocker from AppGeeker. Method 3. Use Find My on another iOS device. Now, let's dive in. Look at this unavailable iPad. After entering the wrong passcode seven times in series, you may notice an Erase iPad option at the bottom. What calls for special attention is that your device has been updated to iOS 15.2 or later and has connected to a network before it's unavailable. If your iPad supports cellular data connection, you can put a SIM card in your iPad to get mobile network. Once this option is displayed on the screen, tap on it. Tap Erase iPad one more time. Enter your Apple ID password when prompted, then wait for the erasure to take effect. In the course of erasure, your data will be erased at the same time. I will conclude by saying that no matter which method you adopt to reset your phone, your data can't be saved in the erasure process. Therefore, it's necessary for you to back up the personal data in time so that you can restore them later even though the device is reset. If nothing else, your iPad will reboot with the Hello screen, set it up now. Many ways can contribute to solving this unavailable problem, but the following one may be the most effective use a third-party software called iPhone Unlocker from AppGeeker.com. It's a more readable program while it's super easy to operate. You can get it on AppGeeker's official website, the link is also put in the description. I have downloaded the software in advance, so let's launch it on the desktop. Since your iPad has been locked out, you need to remove the passcode so that you can regain access once. Let's click Wipe Passcode on the home screen then click the Start button. Next, the program will remind you to connect your iPad to the computer. If the tool cannot recognize your device, you need to put it into recovery mode. If you have an iPad with a home button like this, connect your device to the computer. Keep pressing the home button and power button at the same time, you don't need to drag the power off slider when it appears, the device will shut down automatically. When you see a cable point to a laptop icon, let go of the button. Now, your device is in recovery mode. If you have an iPad without a home button, connect it to the computer first. Press and quickly release the volume up button, press and quickly release the volume down button, then keep holding the side button for around 20 seconds, 
when you see the recovery mode screen, release it. Now, the interface shows iPad has connected to the computer successfully and skips to the next page. Here you need to select the corresponding category and type for your device. Once done, click the start button to continue. iPhone Unlocker will prepare a firmware package for your device. What you need to do is to wait until it finishes downloading. This process may take some time. When the progress bar reaches the end, you will get a new window warning that all the data will be deleted later during the unlocking process. Put in 0000 in the text box and click the unlock button. Now, you should see the progress digital progress bar loading on the screen coincide with the iPad restart. You can unplug your device from the computer once it's unlocked successfully. The next method can be easily achieved on your other devices, no matter your iPhone, Android phone, or even your computer use find iPhone in iCloud.com. Okay. Let's go on. Go to iCloud.com in any browser. And enter your Apple ID and password to log in to the iCloud homepage. The credential must synchronize with the unavailable iPad. Select Find iPhone option on the interface. Wait a short while, you will get in My Devices list on the screen. All your iOS devices will display on the list if you have activated the Find My iPhone or iPad feature in Settings. Then find your unavailable iPad right here, and tap it. Tap Erase iPad. Then you need to continue with your Apple ID password and this iPhone's lock screen passcode. In a little while, your iPad will turn off automatically and restart. You don't have to wait long during this time. Look, it is complete. After the setup, you can use your iPad as before. That's all for today's video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumb up if it's useful for you. Subscribe to Digibert channel to get more tips about fixing your iOS devices. Hope to see you next time.